Hello friends, this is Professor Sanjeev Devedi and I welcome you all on behalf of Vidyalangar classes. In this session, I'll be talking about your chapter 1 AWT Abstract Windowing Toolkit for subject Advanced Java for TY Diploma students for the branch CO, CM, IFN, CD. Advanced Java, as the name suggests, it's an extension of Java. Herein, you'll be applying many concepts that you studied in subject Java in your semester 5. Like the way we know, ki using Java, we can create user interfaces. Well, I'd like to extend. We can create user interfaces along with event handling. Now, what's that? When you talk about browsing, when you're visiting any website, pressing any button, making any selection in checkboxes, selecting any item in drop-down list, closing the tab, closing the browser, what you're doing is performing action to which you see some reaction. That's event handling. And in this sub topic, AWT, Abstract Window in Toolkit, I'll be demonstrating the concept of event handling with a small example. Well, consider we would like to create an applet with a component as a button and a label. Now, what we want is whenever the developer presses the button, the content of the label should be changed to hello everyone. Let us see this with a program. Now, since we all know to create an applet, we have to create a class that extends the applet. For that, we need to import applet package for AWT components. Dot asterisk. Let us make the name as event demo. Let it width be 400 pixels, height be 400 pixels. Close the applet tab. We'll create a class. Event demo. That extends applet. Now the point is event handling. When it comes to event handling, AWT provides a lot of built-in interfaces. For different types of event, we will have different listener interfaces. Now, for your information, when a button is pressed, it generates an event known as action event. And to handle this, you are provided with a listener action listener so to get those features of action listener interface we have to make our class implements action listener interface now when it comes to creating components we need two components a button and a label well, again, you are provided with built-in classes like the way we say ki Java supports a lot of API that will make our job a lot more easier. So whenever we want to create any button in an applet, we will create object of button. So here we create a reference button B1 and for label, again, there is a class. So let B1 be the reference for button, let L1 be the reference for label. We all know IMIT method, it is invoked as soon as the applet is loaded. Now in IMIT, as soon as my applet is loaded, we will create object of button and let the label of the button be hello. We will create a label. Well, we have only created the component. We have to add this component on the container applet. So we have add b1. It is actually this dot add. Well, this refers to the object of event demo class, which itself is subclass of applet. So we have added b1 button on the applet. We have added 
label N1. Now, like the way we said, we will press a button. So the event will be generated by the button. For a button to generate that kind of event, it need to get registered with the listener. So we'll have B1 dot add action listener and here we need to pass the object of the class that implements the listener so when it comes to object of the class implementing the listener it's our own class event demo so we pass this like the way we know this represents current object or the calling object so this is job done so as soon as my applet is loaded for execution, we'll have these two components added and we'll have a listener registered with the button V1. Now, whenever the button is pressed, like the way we say, since we have implemented the listener, we have to override method. Actual listener interface provides a, a method action performed. So we'll have that will take action event object now action perform is a method that will be automatically called as soon as the button is pressed well the concept goes like this when you press a button you actually create object of action event class that object will be passed as argument to this function like we said action event e e is a reference to action event that will refer to the object of action event class so that action event object is used to call the method action perform and whatever reaction that we expect against the event we can write those reaction code in this function so for action perform we desire the text of the label should be hello everyone so here i should write L1 represents my label L1 dot set text hello everyone this is end of my function and this is end of my class so here we have seen a small example wherein we created an interface where when a user press the button the, the content of the label is changed this is very interesting concept. Believe me, this is one of the simple examples. There are many more concepts, many more component apart from button, many more event apart from action event, and many more different types of listeners that will be studying under the chapter AWT. Well, for the complete syllabus, do join Vidya Langar classes. For any query, feel free to visit our centers. Thank you, everyone.